Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the form group and the form record, about the partial values and how to control the dynamic uh, option, controls and dynamic groups, form record and all those things. Let's try to learn it. So now let's go to the example. So here I have a, uh, let's say I have set up the basic form group. So here I have defined a basic log, log login form with a form group having email and a password. So here you'll be able to see it. And in this login password, uh, login.com print, so I'm having an input with email and also the password, input type is equal password. And here I'm showing the login form dot value with the JSON format. So whatever the value you are trying to write it here, you'll be able to see the password and all those things here. So fine. So we create a form, for, form group called the, let's try to remove these two. Yeah. We create a form group called the login form with two controls, email and password. And also we have made it to non-nullable non to true ensures that each control does not allow null values simplifying the handling of the uh, values in the TypeScript. So fine. So now when the controls are disabled, angular form values change making them partial. So now here if you try to see this, this is this one is form group of email and the password, right? So when the controls are disabled, some controls if you try to disable this, so then the form value, the angular forms value makes them a partial. This means that disabled controls don't appear in the form group. So in this form group, when you are trying to access this login form, so disabled controls will not appear, which changes the type to partial of email and all those things. So I will try to show you this one. So let's disable the pa password control and observe the impact on the login form dot value. So here, what I was trying to do it is, so here in this login form dot HTML file, so here I will do in such a way that so we are having the form right so outside the form I will have a button okay so button and in this button I will do the toggle password so just I, I, I want to disable the uh, button thing so here I can use the click event toggle password so fine so now let's try to use this method in this one so here I will use the toggle password so whenever I want to use the toggle password, so what I was trying to do it is, so here I will I would have a variable in such a way that is password disabled. So I have a is password disabled at the first time it will be true. Okay. So now you will be able to see so is password. So here I will try to do in a such a way that disabled disabled is equal to is password disabled so i will use this one so here the what I, what I what i would be trying to do so here password is disabled right is password disabled we are able to see it and here so now here we are able to see disabled is equal to password disabled so fine so now i would try to i would i would want to see this one so now here I have added something like is password disabled is equal to not of is password disabled. Okay. And here if I am trying to use it, this if it is disabled means if it is true means then I am trying to make it as in disable. If it is not disabled means then I am trying to enable this flag again. So now fine. Let's go to here and we have used the disabled is equal to is password disabled. So fine. So now if you try to see the output. So if I try to toggle the password see this one is password is toggled but here the form group the login form dot value so it has removed the password thing disabled values has been removed so if you want to get or return all the control values including the disabled one means so giving access to the entire form data means then what you need to do it is so here you need to use the not dot value you need to use the get raw value so form value including including disabled including disable if you want to get it means then you need to get get raw value this is the method which you need to use it so now if you try to see the output for this one so here you'll be able to see it so if i try to toggle here so still the password will be available if i try to refresh if i added something value and if i toggle it so it will go away but the disabled will value will be there so this is how whenever you are trying to use the disabled value if you want to get the disabled values means then get raw value we you need to use the get raw value so that all the control values including disable giving access to the entire form data so this is one thing and the second one which i want to tell is optional controls and the dynamic groups 
Form group also allows optional controls which can be added or removed at any runtime. For example, let's say that create an optional remember me field in the login form. Let's say that I want to create a uh, here like this. So here I want to create a remember me. So I have created a remember me and here we need to add the remember me, right? So I'm, I'm trying to remove this all the things. Uh, I will have, have I will have only I will remove this. Okay, let's get try to keep it like that only. So ng if remember me we are having. So I will try to add the remember me thing here. I will add the remember me. So fine. So now if you try to see here we have an remember me. So we are having this ng if. Okay, we need to include the common module. So let's try to include the common module for this one. Yeah, fine. So I have included the common module. So okay. now we are having. So fine. So here we have used this remember me, right? So what I will try to do it is I will use a button that is nothing but remember me button. So toggle the remember me. I will try to use it. So here the toggle remember me and I will create the same thing toggle remember me. So in this method, what I will try to do it is so I will try to remove the control and add the control directly. So if if this dot login form dot uh, what I want to say is controls controls so not contains controls dot remember me is there means then I want to disable I want to remove this one so this dot login form dot remove control of remember me so that means automatically it will be removed else else so here what it is having so login form dot remove control of remember me so otherwise i will try to add the control so here i will try to add the control that's it so remove control of remember me so now here so we are able to get these all the things okay so this login form is directly it is dependent on this form group and all those things okay so for this one what we need to do it is we need to define the login form interface yeah so login up form interface if you define it so now we are able to get this one so now when i try to toggle the remember me control if you try to see here including the everything got, got removed so disable means automatically it got removed so but so now here also i have added in such a way that ng if i have added it so now included that one so entire thing has been removed so if i want to toggle it again so we are able to get this data so like this you will be able to add the optional for the dynamic uh, groups also you can create in the dynamic groups also optional controls also you can maintain it so like this so toggling and all those things you can do it so this is how we will be implementing the optional remember me field in the login form so the next one what i want to explain you is the form record so for example let's say that uh, you don't know about the keys so you are having a multiple keys so like here uh, email password and remember me, remember me so these keys are you know but you don't know about the keys so keys are unknown at the compile time then what we need to use is the form record so form record is the ultimate one uh, ideal one which we need to use when you whenever you don't know about the keys that is nothing but the form control case so you can add the controls with the dynamic case for example let's say that i will try to remove this one all entire thing okay let's say that uh, you don't have a key right so let's see um, uh, let's say that uh, you don't have the key so here also i will try to remove this entire code so just i want to show you one thing that is nothing but uh, let's say you are have an addresses so user will try to add these all addresses so for this one what you will try to do is you need to use the form record and form record it will be form record will have a form control okay which is of type string or null okay and you will be having an empty object at the starting so this is our form control let's say show so this is our addresses okay let's go to the html file and what i would be trying to do it is so here i'll be having one do and here i will loop over ng for ng for ng for what i will try to do so name of address keys so i want to get the address keys so address keys so this one is a method so what i will try to do it is so here i will be, i will be having address keys method and this address keys method what it will try to do is it will try to get the all the address keys so that is nothing but uh, return object dot keys so whichever you want your object dot keys of this dot addresses dot controls so we don't know the names of these all the things right so i am trying to get the addresses so address keys we got it so now what i want to do it is so i want to have the uh, name of address so i will try to have a label 
okay so here all i would be having i would be trying to have a label and also i would try to use addresses dot controls of name so this is how you are maintaining the dynamic thing and whenever you want to add an address so you can able to add an address so here i will be adding a button so whenever you want to add an address you can add an address so that means a new in form control you will be adding it so how we can add this one let's try to show so here sorry add address so i will try to add an address so dynamic form control i am trying to add it so one by one the form control i will try to add it so here now when we are trying to add a address so i will try to ask the name so you will you will, let's try to take the prompt so I will, uh, simple thing enter name for the new address okay so now when you got the name then what i would be trying to do so this dot addresses sorry this dot addresses dot control sorry add control so you would be trying to add the control and here the name with the name will be the key and also here the second one will be the new form control of and by default i will keep it as a null that's it so here i am dynamically adding this one using the form record so now if you try to see here add address so if i try to click on add address automatically it will ask you for the name so here i will try to give uh, city if i click on okay so a city key will be added here and if i click here again state so you will be able to get these all the things city state like this you will be able to get the addresses uh, cities also so like this you will be able to add all those things so here we are using the form record just similarly just simply so in order to add uh, dynamically add the form control so in order to add the dynamically add the form controls so with the their names so right now you don't know the names right so this is similar to something like a form array but form array doesn't have a names and all those things so if you are having a dynamic form controls so which should be added means multiple uh, form controls you need to add it means so then you can have it, then you can set up a form record so this is the use of this form record which i want to tell you so fine so these all the things is fine so if you want to build a form builder for this one means so how you can build it for example let's say that the previous code only so if you are having the password thing and all those things so let's say that you are having the i would be having the form group and all those things so now if you would want to have a form builder uh, if you want to implement the same thing using the form builder means how you can do it so the form builder how we can build it is that that to non non nullable form builder so normally non nullable form builder means so what you will try to do for each form control you will be adding it right so in the same scenario what you need to do it is so here um, fb is equal to we need to inject the non non nullable form builder so this is the form builder which you need to inject it so when you want the non nullable form group so now here what you can do login form is equal to this dot this dot fb dot group and here you can use something like email which is of type empty and you can have a password which is of type mp so like this also you can able to do it so this one is a non nullable empty form okay so non nullable form builder so if you, if you want to use the form builder thing means so a new uh, this new edition has been added so which we are trying to do it as non nullable of true so we are passing an object right in the same scenario so non nullable or otherwise you can inject the form builder i think so previously you used to have fb dot non so we used to have it something like this non nullable yeah so like this also you can able to use it so we both both the things are one and the same only so that is not a problem so this is how you will be using the non nullable thing form builder so in the summary what i want to tell you is form group so best for forms with a known structure so form group when we need to use it so if you know the structure and all the things form group is best partial values means so if you want to exclude the disabled values and all those things the, then we will uh, disabled values controls are excluded in dot value and dot get raw, dot raw value will be include the disabled disabled thing also disabled values also optional controls means fields can be optionally included in the form group and also can be removed using the remove control and add control i have shown you form record form record means if you want to add dynamically which is an open ended thing dynamically add the fields with their names means then we need to use the form record so the last one which i have explained you is the non nullable form builder it creates a non nullable controls without repeated non nullable true so all uh, all the time the, no need to repeat this non nullable non nullable like that so directly you can use this non nullable form builder directly in this one so this is this is what i want to explain you about the strictly type reactive forms so in the next video i will continue in the template driven forms hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you